guys, Michelle Martin Dobbins with Daily Alchemy, and I wanted to share with you today, um, from my personal experience, what I call manifesting with mood swings, um, a story of how I fought my natural body and um, the cycle of my body for years because I didn't understand it, and then when I understood it and learned how to work with it, how that shifted things for me greatly. Um, I used to call myself baby bipolar because I would be really, really productive and going gangbusters and focused on my goals for about two weeks and then like it would start to taper off and then for two weeks I'd be like, then that energy would come. So it was like, and I was just frustrated with myself and every time I'd be like up at the top of the cycle I'd be like yeah I'm awesome I'm gonna keep going like this all the time and I'd be so yay and then I would get here and I'd be like oh I'm not productive boo and I would be just, uh, trying struggling to be cranking out um, creative materials and doing things and you know and then all of a sudden whoop, I go back up and for years I just like thought this I, I thought of it as wrong and then as I worked on my spiritual growth practice I started thinking like okay fighting this has not worked I've done this for years and this pattern continues so what if I work with it and so I started thinking okay I know for about two months to, I mean two weeks out of the month I'm gonna be super productive in about two weeks I'm going to be more mellow. So I started scheduling where I would do a lot of my intense, you know, what, whatever I was doing. Like nowadays, it's like writing blog posts, videoing, doing podcasts during those two weeks. And then during the next two weeks, I'm doing more meditation, more introspection, more planning, more listing, coming up with ideas. And then the next two weeks, I implement. That doesn't mean I don't do anything during those slower two weeks, but I just try to um, do my more intense work for those two weeks and for the slower weeks. And I did this for several years, and then I learned from, you know, I started taking some astrology classes and doing some things, and at some point in time, it clicked to me, and probably even more and more so over the past year, because I switched from using a traditional calendar to using a lunar calendar. So with a lunar calendar, you flip your page over on the um, new moon. It's not on the first day of the month, on the new moon, and it goes by moons. And doing that, I got more in sync with the moon, and I started thinking, like, the cycle of my um, creativity, my productivity, went with the cycle of the moon. Um, when the new moon came, um, and the moon was waxing, growing bigger each day, that's when I was more productive, um, naturally. And that is, it's a time of expansion, it's a time, it's a, like... I found out that my cycle follows the moon cycle and your cycle might too, which is why I'm sharing this with you. But on the new moon, you know, for two weeks, the moon is waxing and growing bigger and that's an expansive creative time. Then you get to the full moon and then the moon begins to wane and gets smaller every night until we come back to another new moon. So those two weeks are for more inner work and introspection and planning and, um, kind of, um, not hibernating, but kind of more into yourself, more into your home, you know, more inner, and then the other time is more outer. That worked so well for me. Um, it's totally changed my perspective because I'm not beating myself up anymore and I'm getting so much more done. So this may or may, may not work for you, but you may want to think about it. And um, I created a little magical lunar planner for those of you who are interested in playing with this and the link to download that for free will be in the um the comments or the description section of the youtube channel if you're on youtube and if you're on my website the link to get that will be on the blog post so um i hope you have fun with that i hope it works as well for you as it did for me and if you have ups and downs in your productivity that you'll stop beating yourself up with it and look at your pattern um, your pattern might be different but I think a lot of people follow this kind of lunar pattern um, and just work with what is instead of trying to make yourself um, follow a different um, 
cycle that's just not your cycle. Um, and also, if you want more information, I did a really long podcast on that, but I'm trying to keep this one short and sweet. So namaste. Let me know how it works for you. Come see me at dailyalchemy.com. Bye-bye.